Hi everyone! So usually on Sunday mornings I release a guided journaling video, but when I asked you what kinds of journaling videos you wanted, several people requested a video about what I use for journaling versus my prop journal for the videos. I've mentioned several times that those that was just my like guided journaling video journals. <laughs> so naturally people were curious about my actual journal kit which I think a lot of the stuff in here I've probably already talked about in various other videos, but I'm going to show you what my journaling kit actually looks like. And if you're missing journaling prompts, I have like 15 videos on that already in this series, and so I recommend just picking a random one and doing it. Now, if you're brand new to the series, I would go and start with guided journaling number one, which is about the feelings wheel, and I will link it here for anyone who wants to go see that. All right, so I use the Milu Idra for my journaling kit. So we designed the Idra with Milu while we were visiting them a couple of years ago in Greece before the lovely pandemic changed all of our lives, of course. So our intention was for the Idra to be a planner bag, but I use them many different ways aside from just journaling or planning. So for example, I use mine also for the various craft projects I have going at any time. So this kind of is the way I corral all my embroidery stuff into this Idra here. I have a couple different knitting projects going right now. Each one has its own Idra. So it's just like easy to just grab. It's kind of like having a, you know, some people do, do like a craft basket or craft box or something, but... I use the Idra for that. Super handy, I love it. And especially because it has a zipper, it just kind of like keeps everything contained. So, you know, one thing I'd like to say is definitely feel free to tell me what leather colors you'd like to see in the Idra. We always have more on order. I tend to really like the brown shades a lot. The pink, beige, and lilac are quite popular with our customers. But yeah, we always have more on order coming and leather colors come and go because it just depends on what they're able to find from their supplier. So to give you a sense of how huge this is, I am going to show you what is in mine right now. So pretty wild. I actually have a very large, this is a an A5 and this is the Midori one page per day, so it's the quite thick journal. This one is pretty new, which is why I don't have a stickers all over the cover yet. But I really like these Giglio planners because they have all these pockets where I can keep page flags, stickers. I've talked a lot about these Apri press flower stickers. I use them almost every time I journal. They just make my pages so pretty. Let's see what else would I want to talk about with this. Well, I like that these planner covers also have a pen loop and the page flags. I tend to use those a lot. So this Idra was holding an A5 and then similarly a B6. So you can see here how I usually will use the pen loop and have stickers. This is my Sarasa Grand, which is one of my favorite journaling pens. I've definitely mentioned that in my guided journaling series, so that should be no surprise there. But I also have, you know, other pens that I like to journal with, and I'll get to those in a minute. Um, so I've got my A5, my B6, and I also have an A6. This is actually my therapy journal, and I love these Midori stickers. I think these are live on our site right now. But they make really great stickers for you to put the date at the top of your page. So they're like, show you, they're like little wreaths or borders. And they're washi stickers, and I just love them. So I will do one for each therapy session where I'll date it. And then I have my notes from the therapy session, my homework, if I can get in homework. So this is a Midori MD notebook, which we do sell, and I'll link it below. Of course, anything we sell, I'll link below. And then the Midori goat skin 
cover I'm using here, which is really soft and it's fun to see how they change. This one I've definitely had out in the sun a lot or by sunny windows and so it's got some really interesting tanning going on there. So all this, so this whole planner, or sorry, this whole journal stack fit in my journal kit here. I also have things like, I like these bigger stickers for the covers of my notebooks. And these I just use to make the pages pretty. A lot of times I put, I'll use like Kita. So this is like a Kita holder and I'll use Kita to attach things I really like or inspirational things. This is one of my favorite jewelry designers. So I just wanted to keep that and make a planner page with that. And then in here, I also keep my, sorry, this is just real life. I was too lazy to put those all away in there. But this is my King Jim adult sticker album. <laughs> I'm sure I've talked about these before, um, but they're so handy, especially for this like size of like Japanese sticker pages, like the Midori pages, the Apri pages, you know, all that. Jibun Techo stickers, a lot more Midori stickers. They fit so perfectly in here, and you can actually fit quite a few sheets in each slot. So it's just, you can, I feel like you can hold an endless amount of stickers in these things. So I love this. I always have one of these in my planner kit. Let's see, what else do I want to tell you about? Aren't these hilarious? I, I pulled this out of inventory for myself. I thought it was so cute. L normally, I buy the big stickers that go on my notebooks from places like Etsy, and there's different sticker designers on there, and I especially like like inspirational type stuff. I wonder if I have an example here. Well, I don't yeah. you get You get the idea. So like, I think these were all purchased on Etsy, probably. But, What's my point here? Oh yeah, these actually we sell because I thought they were so funny and I'm excited to use them because it's cats with tempera on their heads. How could I not use them? Okay, anyways. <laughs> and then I think I already told you about the Kita album. I always have in my journaling kit whiteout, or I guess correction tape you call it, because I generally want my journaling pages to be kind of pretty. And so instead of scratching stuff out, I will use this. I love the Norino beans. So this is basically like a glue tape. And in that way, your journaling pages can sometimes have a little bit of a scrapbooky thing going on. You know, maybe if you have a something that you want to put in there that holds a certain memory but it's not a sticker you can kind of turn it into a sticker which is really cool and i do that all the time sometimes like when my son draws little things or whatever i'll put that in there just sometimes you have things that you don't exactly want to throw away but you want to keep organized somehow okay so finally let me just show you I keep pens in the front. So I've got Uniball 1, Juice Up Glossy, Sarasa and Nano Vintage, Sakura Ball Sign ID Plus, another Sarasa Grand, and I have a couple of my favorite highlighters, a new mild liner, Ninny Pie, which I think the name is so funny, and then I love these, the Uniball 1 Feel. If you have not tried the Uniball 1 Feel yet, oh my gosh, try it. You, you will love it. Very nice pen. So I hope that gives you an idea of <laughs> what I keep in mind. Oh, I guess I have... This is a Midori sticky pad that my dog started eating, but I'm still using. <laughs>
But I don't necessarily use all the extra pockets just because my style is to put something in there and forget about it. But there are quite a few extra pockets in the Idra that would be really helpful if you wanted to use them. And then one more thing I wanted to show you real quick before we go is if I am not having like a whole <laughs> stack of three journals in here, then actually I can fit a Milu Rec inside as well. So like that's an A5 with a thick A5 with a cover. I've got all of these things I kind of showed you, plus I can fit a wreck in there as well. So you have a ton of room in these Idras and they're so, let me back out a little bit. They're so versatile. I just really, really pleased with this. And I think they've been both, they've been, you know, really popular since they started making them for us. So I, yeah, I've been using these Idra for two years. And fun fact for anyone who's interested, we named it the Idra because we all visited the island of Idra together and it was just fun. And so it's a little, I don't know, when we were deciding to name it, we thought that was kind of personal and nice. So in case you want to know why it's called the Idra. All right. Well, if you have any questions about the Idra or want to you know make a request for certain leather colors or whatever let me know in comments below as always and also as always let me know any guided journaling video requests you have i pretty much do i, I would say i do 80 percent of my guided journaling videos based on requests you guys make to me so keep them coming all right have a wonderful rest of your weekend and i will talk to you soon bye